Okay, so I've just finished setting up this uh, link to the fuel dump. I've got my, well, let's see here. Maybe I can fast forward to daytime. There, oh, how much nicer. So we've got, oh, I should probably just hide the GUI. Oh, well. So we've got, this is the old tanker that I sent up and it's still got tons of fuel in it and I should probably transfer some fuel. And then here is the fuel dump porter with the uh, lifter stage and it's almost out of fuel, but that's okay. And if I power up that engine, this thing will go crazy because I've got it hooked up with some struts and the fuel line. In fact, I wanted to hook up another line here. So here we go, there and in range and link. link one enabled, good. We will attach this. There. Bam. All right. Man. And so that's going to be done. So after that, that's the last mission I'm going to take. And I'm just going to launch the rest of the, the Race to Dre stuff. And we done. Boom. Mission complete. All right. All right, here is a simulated launch of the Drace Outbound mission, and oh my, you can already see that something's wrong. These struts are not connected properly, but oh well. Nope, not oh well. Abort. Okay. Again, trying to launch this thing. Here we go. Parachutes came on. Something like that. Of course, we launched it exactly the wrong time. We've still got 326 meters per second dB left. There's no maneuvering jets on this thing, interestingly. Very interestingly. Whoop. And uh, our control authority is just horrendously bad. So that's something else that's interesting. Maybe we need to add a uh, control unit down here. I'm glad those were covered properly. So that's good. All right, so success. I think I'm going to put more fuel on. I'm going to put an extra control thingy on here. Maybe some RCS. I don't know. RCS tanks on these guys, maybe. Uh, control authority really is abysmal here. this for launch. So I forgot about this guy and was doing other stuff and warping forward and I just realized, oh my goodness, he almost died. All right, burned almost all of my monopropellant and I've got my periapsis down to 15 kilometers, so I think I'm good. And uh, the field dump porter is fading in the distance and here I go. Hope he survives. But really it doesn't matter if he does. Looks like the Clampatron is perfectly capable of shielding a pod. Okay, so here we go, the first launch of the nacelle unit. We're gonna be doing a lot of these. And hopefully it succeeds, because we're gonna be doing a lot of these. It appears at some point these struts have broken between these two pieces, I don't know why, but I'll have to fix that at some point. Okay, well, I got it docked, but uh, running low on mono repellent. So, I'm gonna have to probably send up another porter to refuel monoprop, which is okay. Here we are, pre build of the giant fairing finished, so that should be ready to go. Another test of the main center long system. Hopefully, this is the last test. So that looks like it works, and uh, just for fun, I'm going to test the next stage here. The nukes are firing off properly, quickly burning through a hydrogen.
like experience staging is working perfectly. And I am so glad I caught that on camera. So here's my faithful Moho probe. It's been out here for days and days and days, probably months at this point. And it is scheduled to intercept Moho in about 34 days. So I've made good progress. The Moho probe should end up slingshotting around into a lower orbit flying low over the sun, periapsis. Let me just check that. Yep, that's correct. A thousand megometers is the cutoff, so this should be well under that. Should get some science in from that, and uh, might be able to buy a few more toys. All right, got the second one up. Did a better launch than the first, I think. And uh, everything's looking good. Looking good. Two up, ten to go, plus the core. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, turning to a real depot. Alright, one more docked. Looks like this is gonna be a tricky approach here, but I think I'll be able to make it to get four on here before the core is done. Alright, here we go. The Drace outbound launch. Alright, in orbit and uh, just refunded 21k for those two bottom stages, so that's excellent. And just getting this guy lined up, try to get, uh, get docked. So I've got uh, launch pad reconditioning, six days. So I'm gonna have another two nacelle launches ready by the time that's done. Looks like we're gonna make it though. Kerb and Drace window is 70 days from now and I've got six more of these guys. They're taking about mm, five days a piece. So uh, we're gonna be done plenty of time. All right, I'm gonna put this on video because last time I launched one of these, it fell over and blew up. So we'll see if I can keep this one from falling over and building it. Okay, well, it's going to be pretty boring from here. But anyway, this is the Mark II. It's got two tanks instead of one. Okay, so I wanted to show kind of what this looks like coming in for docking. This is the, uh, the launcher that I end up with with the two tanks on it. That's the station. It's running at about mm, 10 frames a second right now. And uh, going to undock this guy, turn this guy around and deorbit him because you don't need him anymore. Yeah, it's just running like pants right now. That's okay. We'll get it going here. I guess I have tons of DV left. And do that and. Uh, switch away. So this is the main station here and uh, I really want to decouple it from the this base thing. It's kind of overpowering it anyway but all this stuff down here is not coming with the mission. Uh, but the rest is and it's quite a catastrophe at this point. Got almost all the fuel pods up. I don't have any of the actual mission hardware yet. This is all just first stage and hopefully some return stage. But uh, yeah, and then just bring this guy in for docking. It's pretty much a standard docking doohickey. I can hit the clampatron and uh, yeah, line it up and ram it home. 
And here we go for the final dock. Well, not the final, I mean, there's two more, but this is how it docks up. Kind of bouncy. And then it freezes for like a few seconds while it figures out what the new ship is like. Doop -a -doop -a -doo, and there we go, we're done. Back up to five frames a second. Well, here's the Moho probe. I finally got near space on Kerbal or whatever. Uh, can't log pressure, unfortunately. We can record a mission log. Transmit that guy. Hopefully the sun won't be blocking us. That would be terrible. Boom, 52 science. You can get a temperature log. Yeah, 60 science. Oh man, awesome. Temperature log, this is gonna be the awesome one. And hopefully I'll be able to get some good tech with this. Log gravity data. Here we go, 85 science. Yes. I guess that really isn't that much. Okay, this is the final launch of the nacelle units. I'm going to try to get as much of this on camera as I can. It's going to be choppy because this thing is getting monstrous, but uh, we'll, we'll put a little bit on. I'll get some, some key moments, I guess. Launch, of course. Set the target. And uh, booster separation coming up in a minute. Real soon here. Boosters are out. Separate it off beautifully. Intercept is going nicely. Got to remember to extend my solar panels. Almost always forget to do that till it's in the shadow. Try to get lots of power charged up. Not that I'm aligned properly anyway, but getting real close now. Boom. There we are. Decouple that. Get this guy out of the way. And check this guy's alignment. So this one is axial enough that I can spin it around to get it lined up. But oh, it's lined up pretty well already. Agile for such a large vessel. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Set the target properly. Oh, we're almost perfectly aligned. Uh oh, and you've got a sad Leia. What's the matter, Leia? I don't like the wind. You don't like the wind? Is it too windy outside? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I warped around, and I've got this guy all set for the final deburn. So I'm going to overshoot, probably. I'm going to just burn down to get my periaps pushed into the ocean. There we go. There's no way you're going to overshoot now. This gets pretty warm, but not too warm. Yep, there we go. We're already cooling off. Activate the parachutes. And just one more launch of uh, another satellite, just to get enough funds. I need 200 some odd thousand to get it, and I've only got 141,000, so... Doing a couple more missions just to get the extra funds to put up the last piece of the mission, and then hopefully we'll be all set, ready to go. Alright, here we are. This is going to be the final, final launch, Drace final payload. It's a double ion engine sled, it's got six double ion engines on it, and we're going to depart in 58 days. I'm going to get up in orbit, though. I've got plenty of supplies to keep them in orbit for a while. Depart in 58 days and uh, Drace Kerbin transfer back in 406 days. Should be back. Uh, my plan is to be back by the 
160th day of the third year. But we'll see how that goes. All right, and we're going to put Kenkin Kerman on this one. Kenkin, I know that you had a terrible time that one time, but you are going to Drace. You will be you will be the the Kerman. I was, almost said the man. You're not a man. You're a Kerman. Ha ha ha. Staging is set and lift off. So we're about to ditch these. Here we go. So I just wanted to show how this craft works. It's basically a crew core and a bunch of ion engines and capacitors at the back. So I can burn for about a kilometer a second with all these capacitors, and then I need to recharge is where all these panels are for. Alright, this is boring again. Alright, coming in for the final dock. You want to see Leia? Mm -hmm. Alright. Daddy, how many minutes will be done? Oh, it's going to be a while. Boom. Okay. Mission is assembled. There we go. What a crazy thing. So that's what's going to be going to Drace. And hopefully coming back in much smaller pieces. This tiny piece here is coming back. So I will uh, I'll see you all when I do the final race video which hopefully will be coming up within a week or so.